Well, political parties in South Africa's parliament have all reacted with delight uh, that the changing of the guard in Zimbabwe happened peacefully. But they've also warned that this is not necessarily the end of Zimbabwe's woes. Mugabe in particular, they were happy to see his back. They were rejoicing as if it was second freedom. The question we need to ask, what happened for 37 years? What happened? What happened to those who brought freedom? Did those who brought freedom, did liberators of Zimbabwe, become oppressors themselves? It's a question we must ask. We are calling for democracy. We are calling for an agent transitional government that will ensure that free and fair elections are held. Because of the only way forward is for the will of the people of Zimbabwe to be heard, and that can only happen with a credible free and fair election. We welcome and celebrate the resignation of President Mugabe, uh, which must uh, be understood as essentially a response uh, to the ZANU PF uh, decision to recall him. He has reacted to that decision uh, that was democratically taken by the National Committee uh, of ZANU PF. What is now required is that the current leadership, even if it's interim leadership, need to put in place a conducive environment for free and fair elections to take place without any intimidation, to encourage the international community that have imposed sanctions against Zimbabwe to lift those sanctions. We expect that uh, those who are coming into leadership will be able to restore uh, the sovereignty and, and the dignity of the country as such and also ensure that uh, they 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 bring back investor confidence, they revive the economy of the country, they bring back law and order. Mnagwagwa, who has a checkered past, who has a terrible human rights record in the past working together with Mugabe, is given a raw opportunity as a leader to redeem himself and to start lobbying international communities so that sanctions that have been imposed on Zimbabwe over the years can now be removed. We must also remember that we don't have a regime change in Zimbabwe, it's only a presidential change. Uh, the ZANU-PF party is still in government and we will have to wait to see what uh, the end result is going to be. We believe that the people of Zimbabwe should be given an opportunity to reconstruct their country and the best way we believe is the way forward is for them to come together as all political parties, the ruling party and the opposition parties and form an interim government that will prepare the ground for free and fair elections this coming year. As PAC we, we are hoping that uh, there will be peace and stability and even the economic problems that are facing or challenges that are facing Zimbabwe will, will be dealt with. The people of Zimbabwe must grab this uh, opportunity, golden opportunity, uh, with the aim of trying to find peace.